Hi all. Uh, this is series eleven video part number nine. Uh, this is the last video for the series, and uh, in this video we will discuss the serverless MSK cluster with uh, producer and consumer. So in last uh, video we already discussed the provisions MSK cluster type of things. Now we are using the serverless. So we will discuss. The agenda of our discussion is we will go and create the serverless MSK cluster. We will create IAM policy and role and create the EC2 instance for uh, producer and consumer, one for the producer, two for the consumer. And we will set the host name and uh, we will install on that uh, Kafka client and we will go and create the topic over there. Uh, we will create the topic. After that, uh, we will start uh, to send the uh, produce, uh, producer and consumer data. We will check how to how it will work, right? So this is the flow for that. Uh, we will create one Amazon serverless uh, cluster here, serverless, and uh, we'll create uh, three EC2 instance here, and one for the producer, and two for the one consumer and consumer two. Uh, this kind of producer one will produce the data here and that will store in this Kafka and that uh, consumer will pull the messages from the Kafka with the same message it, it, it will consume by the two consumers. So let us start creation uh, of this cluster, serverless cluster, and then uh, we will create three two instances, right? So this is the step for creating the cluster and we will give the name for the cluster name and the serverless cluster and type is serverless right and we will select custom create and here we will use the vpc i will use the going to default vpc and two subnet site that uh, we can uh, use your your custom vpc also so let's go and create this uh, so let me copy this cluster name and uh, log into the console this is uh, my cluster i don't have any cluster now right now uh, let me create the cluster this is custom create for that and cluster name is uh, this is msk serverless you can see it by default selected cluster type is serverless and last video we already discussed on the provisions cluster so just uh, it is showing by default taking all those things and uh, it is uh, VPC uh, using default one. I'm selecting one A and one B and subnet uh, uh, I've selected. And this is a default security group. You can add the custom security group also. And next, and access control method. This is a device default. And any tag you want to add, you can add it, add the tag. And this is a cluster creation, and I'm going to create the cluster. And this is a beauty for that, it, it will create only in five minutes. Last time we created it took around 15 to 20 minutes. Now it will create in five minutes. This is a serverless cluster is creation, right? And it started. So we have done this steps, right? Now uh, create the roles and policy. So first we will create the policy and assign this policy to the created role, right? So this is the policy name. So go to the IM. And uh, uh, we are going to create the policy in JSON format. So I have uh, added in the next slide for that policy. And this is the policy, right? So if you're using this policy in your uh, system, I think I will add this policy in my GitHub later on. I uh, still this policy is not there. So let me note the point. So I think you will get this thing, right? Uh, policy, I will add it here. Add, okay. So this policy, once you will get it, then uh, what will happen? This is, you need to change. This is this uh, US East one to your uh, region. What, what, whatever region you are creating the cluster. And this is the account ID. You can get the account ID directly from here. Copy this account ID and paste it here. 
And this is the cluster name, whatever you are creating the cluster name, three things you need to change if you aren't changing anything, right? So at least uh, if you're not changing region, cluster name, then you have to change only the account ID at least, right? So these are three places for that. One is here and second is here and third one is here, right? So make sure you are changing this thing, otherwise you will get the error. So next tag, next review and uh, this is the name of the MSK serverless policy, right? I'm just letting here and uh, create policy. This policy is created. Now I will go and create the role. So you can see create role, uh, use case is EC2 next, right? And select that policy, select I've created this policy in last stage. So just role name, I am just copying it, MSK serverless role, right? And policy is configured over here. So this is uh, created, right? Role is created, right? So now next step, uh, we need to create uh, the three instances, client is uh, EC2 instances. So we need to create the three instances for there. So, but uh, one catch is here. I think uh, we need to select this role, right? So just go and create the instance. I think uh, here three, okay. This is three easy two instances, right? So let's go EC2 dashboard console. Uh, this one is there, right? We don't have any running instances here. So let's create the instances. And Amazon Linux is uh, okay. And T2 micro is uh, sufficient. And I am adding it here three. And uh, I am role. I selected this role over there, right? And next storage, okay. Next uh, add name. So I am uh, adding first name here. Security group. Uh, you can select any security group. So we can see. Select the same security group. This is a catch actually. Uh, select the same security group which is associated with MSK cluster, right? So MSK cluster, just go and check which security group it is using, right? So, oh, it is created very quick. You can see serverless cluster is created. Now you can see which uh, uh, security group it is using, this security group, right? So we will use same security group uh, in EC2 instance, right? So EC2 instance, so let me select this one. You can see, yeah, this one, right? Default security. So I am selecting, uh, sorry, default security, right? So launch the instances. Now uh, it will take a little bit time, few seconds for creating that. So let me come in this place. It is showing, still not showing here. I think I've selected one or three. Let me check. I'm not able to recall. Yeah, three is running, right? Okay, then. So let me put the filter. Yeah, now it is coming. So change the name here. So I am changing the name of the consumer here. Consumer one. And I'm changing this name to consumer two. Right, so we have created launch done. This is step right now. We need to change the host name. 
so let me connect uh, first instance one by one then we will change uh, the name this is our uh, first one let me connect it and uh, we are putting name msk server less producer right host name right yeah So it is host name is set for the first one and it will show in a while. Yeah, you can see producer is showing here. Serverless producer, right? MSK serverless producer is created, right? Now we will go on the second instance and set the name for that serverless, this one and connect. So just I'm uh, putting it here. So I'm giving the name for that and exit and re-login again, right? Just. Yeah, you can see it is set for that, right? So just uh, try to update. already updated right so just clear it so next one uh, i think we need to uh, connect for that third instances so my third is in this one let me connect and uh, this one We can copy this one also. So we have set a uh, host name for all the all three client servers. It, now it is ready, right? Third one is also ready. Now we need to install this Kafka client. So we need to install the Java. Uh, so for that, uh, I can run this uh, Java version for all three. So let me into, yeah, you can see here. All three.
So after that, we will check the Java version. I think this is not correct, this one. This is stalled, right? Java version. And check it here. It is stalled. Check it here. It is stalled, right? And let me clear it is screen. Okay. Now uh, we'll Kafka client. Uh, we'll uh, w get this, uh, this one. After that, we need to tar this. It is saving Kakpa 212, 2.8.1, 2.81, yeah, same version is there, right? Yeah, no, it's okay then. After that, we need to download the jar file accessing cluster from the client machine. So this is a GitHub URL for that, which is provided by the AWS. Then uh, we need to this jar file and put this Kafka lib file. Where they do this lib file, we are going to uh, connect with uh, with the cluster. So this lib file is important, right? So I think this is done. This is uh, unchipped, right? So if we'll go to LS, you can see it is showing Kafka folder. So let login. LS, you can see lib, lib is there, libs bin, both are there. So we need to go to libs. And uh, here we will lots of libs. We will go and copy that lib file also. Right? Same thing we will do, cd Kafka. Uh, lips right so we are here same place and we will do same thing here ls papa says lips right so we so here we will go and download the jar file w get on all three all three servers Okay, now uh, we we, uh, we have done this step. Now after that, we need to uh, go to bin file uh, and uh, create the client.property file, right? So, and uh, uh, add this uh, details in the client.property file, right? So just go in the bin folder uh, again. So let's me go in the bin one. So here, CD pin now I will get it right. Clear. And you can see we are in the bin, right? Okay, now uh, we need to create the client.property file. I think, uh... And just copy this one. like this I think so it will give the error let me correct it I think so it will give this space here yeah now I'm copying this I'm there
ओके स्टन स्टन राइट again okay now it is uh, our, our, our plant property is set now next step uh, uh, we can go and check the view view plant uh, view client print information in the di directly from that place and uh, that is a boost step server endpoint so i will show you where we need to go it here go to the the kafka cluster this is cluster our cluster and uh, click on that cluster uh, you will get this view client information so just click on that one you will get this im endpoint over there this is, this is a bootstrap server right so we need this property right every time so this is written here bootstrap endpoint we are getting and now we will go in the bin folder and export ps as a endpoint right so we need to put endpoint over there right so what we need to do i am copying it here endpoint right and uh, I'm exporting BS to endpoint, right? This one. So we need to export uh, every place. And same thing. So just go and export in the all three clients. You can check uh, that uh, BS, what is theory there? Eco dollar BS, right? You can see it is set, right? Eco dollar BS, right? It is bootstrap HS set, right? Okay. Now uh, it is set. Now we can create the topic. So topic name, this is the topic for that. So let's go and create the name here. You can see bootstrap BS we are using. Config client dot property, create topic name we need to add only. So topic name we are using, MSK serverless topic. So I am adding here only this one, right? So, and just go and run it. So so go on this system. I am going to run it right. You can see we got the message created topics of uh, this one MSK serverless topic. Now it is done topic is created, a message is required, right? If I'm not getting this message, it means something is wrong, right? So this is done. Now we need to uh, endpoint, uh, same endpoint I have uh, written here. Now pr producer and consumer uh, will use those things. So just uh, uh, producer side, I am using this, this one. Uh, consume, uh, console consume, uh, Kafka console producer dot sh we will use, right? So let me correct it here, okay? And uh, BS is already there. Now we need to add the topic only, right? Topic name. So this is for the producer side. So this is our, our producer, so let me clear it. And I'm putting it here. Oh, I missed out dot, right? This one.
now we are getting prompt hi just started i'm sending messages right check it right so that's we have done now we need to uh, configure that uh, consumer right so per consumer we need to change it again here per consumer from the topic name we need to give the same topic here and uh, end point right so end point we have already copied uh, here end point and you can see this is end point is showing right now i need to run this uh, uh, command on all both uh, the server right so let me do it You can see it is getting the pull that matters messages from the Kafka. Uh, let me correct little bit correct it. Yeah, whatever you have seen here, it is getting here. If I will say first consumer is ready, you can see messages coming. But here we are not getting the messages, so just run this consumer console.sh file here from the beginning it will also get that messages all those messages right see and you can see just got the messages right so we can see now Second consumer, second consumer is ready. See, and last demo done. We got it right now. You can see it is uh, getting all those uh, details from the Kafka cluster and is serverless. It is very easy to configure and after that we need to go and delete all three instances Kafka cluster and security group and i am roll everything just uh, i'm going to delete it uh, let's um, uh, let's uh, go and delete this cluster delete and it will it will be deleted very fast you can see it will take uh, very less time for deletion deleting is started right now this is this uh, server group ec2 instances is running over there you can see running instances three what happened yeah now i have selected all three and terminate instances right it is terminated right and uh, after that, uh, security group, uh, you have added anything, security group. Let me check in default security group. We have not added anything here, right? Security group is okay. Now we need to uh, delete the policy and role, right? So role is created MSK server role. Let me delete it. And after that policy, this policy we have created. Let me delete it. So we've deleted this one and uh, is it to MSK? You can see cluster is deleted very fast. So serverless is working very fast and uh, it is a bit cheaper. If you are uh, use very less, uh, we need to pay only when you run the query. That is the advantage for serverless. And uh, this is also deleted. You can see volume is still showing. Let me refresh it. It is zero. Now everything is zero, right? So we have deleted successfully everything. 
So thanks. I think this is this, uh, this is the last video for my this LS series eleven, and I've covered uh, MSK multiple uh, uh, portion for that, and I've covered uh, uh, multiple for the linker DNA uh, uh, EKS for that. And uh, total covered uh, around uh, nine videos for this part, including service mess and uh, MSK. So please, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching this video. Thanks for now. And we will come soon, very, very soon for the next series. Thank you. Thanks.